walk, ride, fly, coming to you live from Washington, D.C. Ooh, that was almost an accident. That did not look good at all. That was bad. Greetings, everybody. Today's date is March 7th, 2021. It is a Sunday here in uh, Washington, D.C. And today we are going to be exploring Embassy Row. We're going to check out a lot of embassies, all these beautiful houses, a lot of awesome fun facts. We are going to have a good time. Francois Philippe is here. What's going on? Amir, Paulus, uh, 47, uh, Steve the Blade. How are you doing, Steve? I haven't seen you for a while. I hope all is well. Igor Art, hello everyone, hello to you as well. Somebody's running late, Chaz, no. Uh, as I mentioned on my previous stream, there is a problem with notification from YouTube. So what I do is I put up, you know, the, the, um, the, the title and the notification for a live stream and I wait for a few minutes until just to give you know just to give youtube some time to notify you guys because they have not been doing a great job notifying viewers about live streams so in any case uh that being said if you could just give this video a like and share it on facebook i would greatly greatly appreciate it notification has been an issue for some reason eddie greetings to you Nice seeing you here. Bonjour de Belgique. Bonjour. You guys see all these nice houses, uh, Victorian homes, beautiful architecture. Some of them modern, of course, modern architecture. Lots of amazing, amazing looking homes. All right, so I looked up the average home price in, in Washington, D.C., and it is $640,000. That is the average home price in D.C. Isn't that crazy? That is so expensive. And you probably wouldn't even get a nice house with that money. D.C. has gotten so expensive. I think uh, home prices have gone up by at least 16% between uh, 2018 and 2019. God knows by how much it went up from... Uh, I'm sorry, from 2019 to 2020. So God knows how much it has gone up between then and now. Anyways, I don't mean to stand here for too long. I'm just waiting until you guys notify everybody. Until you guys share this video. On Facebook. And I already had one cup of coffee and I'm having a second one. So today is going to be an awesome, awesome live stream. In any case, uh, let, me, let me show you this thing here. A nice statue here on the way to Embassy Row. Greetings to you, Rosalind. Look at all these... statues okay let's get going let's get it let's get it now oh greetings to you Najuma Brown Darrell yes clear sky indeed it's such a beautiful day the temperature is uh, 46 degree Fahrenheit it is a great day so as you can see nice cars nice homes all the embassies are here most of the embassies uh, diplomatic missions, consulates. Oh, I saw something weird. <laughs> anyway. Anybody from Turkey? Anybody from Turkey? This is, it looks like, uh, Turkish Embassy. That is Turkish Embassy right there. As you can see, the flag is there. Anybody from uh, Turkey? <laughs> Turkey sandwich. <laughs> That's way different. 
Romania, and we have Romania here. Romania, the capital city is what? Bucharest? Oh, Burak, Burak, Marhaba, Marhaba. This is Romanian embassy here. Yeah, a lot of these embassies occupy really, really expensive properties, really nice properties. Um, There you go. Yes, embassy tour, Mo here, absolutely. There you go, my friends from Turkey. Turkey, capital city is what, Ankara. Ankara, right? And we have All right, let me just uh, open up my coffee here because I'm trying to trying to open it and drink it. Ma Manny explores greetings. All right, I think that is Kamal Atatürk, most likely. Friends from Turkey. He is considered the, fa the father of Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. If you go to Turkey, you'll see his image, his name everywhere, starting at the airport. That is Mustafa Kemal Atatürk from 1881 to 1938. He is the founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey, a white stone building behind the statue purchased under Atatürk in 1936. He's, he's definitely considered the father of modern Turkey. People in Turkey love him dearly. Two capitals, Ankara and Washington, D.C. became sister cities in 2011. That's awesome. I haven't had a chance to visit Ankara, but I've had a chance to visit uh, Istanbul, Cappadocia, uh, Izmir, what else? Uzungol, Trabzon. was awesome it's a very very quiet neighborhood and this is Latvia part of the European Union that is the embassy of Latvia I forgot the capital city of Latvia but this is the uh, embassy and it is a Sunday so there is not much going on at the embassies but it's a good time to explore it is definitely a good time to explore the embassies. And most of the embassies are concentrated in the same neighborhood. And this is Sheridan Square here to my right. Oh, let's see. I believe this is Korean embassy or consulate or residence there you go anybody watching from Korea capital city Seoul um, what else uh, I know they do have an awesome coffee culture in Seoul coffee culture in Seoul is uh, is big Philip Jason. A little bit of history here. Dr. Philip uh, Jason, uh, Jason, Jason, 1864 to 1951. Dr. Philip Jason was a pioneer of independence, democracy, and public awakening for Korean people. After the failed 1884 reformation movement, he was exiled to the United States where he became the first Korean born to become an American citizen. That's cool. That's awesome. Graduate of Columbian Medical College. So he lived in New York City. Nice. He practiced medicine in Washington, D.C., later serving the U.S. government as a wartime physician, both in Korea and in the United States. That's, that's one thing I didn't know. Dr. Philip J. Sean. Nice. We'll look it up more later.
And then right across the street, hey, Nico, how are you doing? Rob, where's the Trinidad and Tobago Embassy? Uh, I think it's on the other side. Um, I don't know if we are going to come across it, but I've shown it before, though, Nico. I've shown it before. I could never miss a, a Trinidadian flag. <laughs> Anyway, that right across the street is the Irish Embassy right there. If you give, I'm gonna zoom it. I'm gonna zoom the camera. All right. Because I'm heading the opposite way and I don't want to go back and forth. There you go. Anybody watching from Ireland? Ireland. I believe the one right across the street is the Egyptian embassy. Good afternoon, Gigi. Turkey, Turkey is, is one of the countries that you should visit. Turkey is just, it's amazing. One thing about Turkey is that it's, it's cheap. It's uh, a lot cheaper than a lot of destinations have been to. Dollar, your dollar goes a long way. Your pounds, you know, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, uh, whatever it might be, will go a long way. Malay, we have Embassy of the Philippines right across the street. Good thing, good thing I did not cross the street. Oh my goodness, the guy was not even looking. He was looking away. I don't know what he was looking at. Embassy of the Philippines. There you go. I highly recommend Turkey. And you know, one thing about Turkey is that I don't think the government does a good, a good job advertising the country to the rest of the world because there's so much to see. There's so much to see in Turkey, but it's just the only thing that you hear about is the only cities you hear about are Istanbul and possibly Ankara, you know, or maybe Cappadocia. But there's so much to see. What embassy is this? Oh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Man, they need to change that flag. It's so old. It doesn't even look a Vietnamese flag. It does not look like a Vietnamese flag. It looks old. They need to change it. It is such a beautiful day. I don't know what, it, what it's like in New York City right now. It's probably cold and windy. But here, it is beautiful. So we're gonna continue walking. We're gonna continue exploring. Filipina New Yorker in the house. Nice, Maria Scholz. I believe this is the embassy of Egypt. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, this is residence. Ooh, it's not even the embassy. This is residence. Residence, the ambassador of the Arab Republic of Egypt. Egypt is part of the Arab League and also part of the African Union and the head of the uh, the secretary for the Arab League is Egyptian. And here is the flag of Egypt for you. Simit is delicious. Yes, I love Simit. Hi. Simit is like a Turkish staple. Mo here. It's going to be in the 70s later this week. Spring is on the way. Oh, the spring needs to be back. I think this is this is one of the longest winters and yeah i've experienced in a long time i don't know maybe it's just it's just my thinking or maybe i'm just i'm just thinking about it too much that is a nice residence did you guys see that that is a residence that is the residence of the ambassador of egypt this entire building it's not an embassy it's a residence so embassy row has a lot of residences diplomatic missions and of course consulates must be nice to to live in one of these buildings. Mm. 
And you know those uh, diplomats who are assigned to positions in the United States, I think, I think they have a very, very nice, uh, sweet life. They get paid in dollars. Um, they most most of the time they uh, live in nice in a nice neighborhood. Some of them even I heard you know even have maids and uh, chefs and you know chauffeurs. That is Greek embassy of Greek Greece, and they get taken care of really really well. Very nice residences, right? So yeah, this is uh, this is Embassy Row. This is where you will find embassies from different countries. If you visit, if you visit Washington D.C., or if you have something to do at an embassy at a consulate, this would be where you would visit. I think this one is Embassy of Burkina Faso. Such a cool name for a country, right? Burkina Faso. That is the embassy of Burkina Faso. Embassy of Burkina Faso. Can you guys tell me what you would call somebody who is from Burkina Faso? Don't even look it up. Don't use Twitter. I mean, don't use uh, Google. Don't use any assistance. See if you can figure it out. Oh, I think that is Chile, right? Embassy of Chile. There you go. Chile is to the right. Burkina Faso. Uh, that's a good try. Ruski Embassy. Is that Russia? Russia is on the other side. We'll check it out. Let me see what country is this. Oh, da la la. There you go. Yale Haiti. That is Haiti, friends. That is the embassy. Nevia Mendez. Yes, today's embassy walk. It's a Sunday. We're going to relax. We're going to, you know, take a, take a walk on embassy row. Greetings to you, Alex Mandeli. Bur Burkina Bay, that's right. That's how you say it. That's how you say somebody from uh, Burkina Faso. So this is the embassy of the Republic of Haiti. Yale Haiti. I know we have a few viewers from Haiti. So shout out to all of you. Shout out to all of you. And I believe this is the Islamic Center of Washington, D.C., if I'm not mistaken. Oops. You are very welcome, warrior. I think this is the Islamic Center of Washington, D.C., I believe. Nobody's working inside the embassies. Yeah, nowadays, I guess everybody's working from home, right? But I do see cars, so I'm assuming there's at least some staff members, you know, working here. Maybe not all of them. Anyways, there's a U.S. flag right there. I wonder... I wonder what that house is. It doesn't, obviously, this is not going to be a U.S. consulate in the U.S. It's probably some guy who's like who got jealous with all these flags and decided to just put an American flag. Like, oh yeah, we have a flag too. Oh, that's an interesting flag. I don't know what that is. Such a beautiful neighborhood. Man, now I wish I, I was a I was a diplomat. Oh man. Oh Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan. This is the embassy of Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyz Republic. There you go. Very nice homes, Kevin. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you, my friend. Oh Croatia! Anybody from Croatia? I think Croatia is right across the street. I believe that is Croatia. Valerie, greetings to you. Before we cross to uh, Croatia, let me show you the actual embassy of Korea. Hi, Bobby. How are you doing? This is the... Oh, this is the Korean Cultural Center. It's not the embassy. So the other one 
uh, is the residence and this is the cultural center here this is the korean cultural center which is awesome and uh, one thing that you're going to see in uh in washington dc is in addition to embassies consulates and diplomatic missions and military attaches you also see cultural centers i have seen i have seen a uh, qatari cultural center and now uh korean cultural center i believe there, there there are more cultural centers from different countries as well yeah these are very old style homes it's a mix of modern uh uh, just different di different types of architectures different type of architecture here it's a mix it's not consistent like the other neighborhoods that we have seen it's just different different styles different types of architecture here all right i'm i'm jaywalking and people are staring at me but it's all right Oh yeah, I do, Ni uh, Nico. Yeah, I love, I love just you know reading about countries, and you know, even though I haven't visited most of these countries, I love reading about them. And Google is like the best thing in the world, right? It tells you everything that you need to know. I mean, sometimes not accurate information, but it's up to you to like sift through different information. Rep oh, Embassy of the Republic of Croatia, Velopolostav Republic Hrvatsk. Oh, I don't know what that means, but I think it means Embassy of the Republic of Croatia. And Woodrow Wilson House is to the right. Way up there. And I think this is Cameroon. I think this is the Embassy of Cameroon. In Cameroon, uh, both English and Fr French are the official languages. They, they, uh, Both England and France colonized colonized Cameroon, so both English and French are the official languages. Look at that. Go to Clinton home. Do you think they'll let me in at the Clinton home? There you go. Where is the Canadian Embassy? VW Joem. I showed it the other day. I took a I took a good amount of time to show the Canadian Embassy. The Canadian Embassy, I would say, is like the biggest, the biggest embassy I've seen in DC. It is huge. It is pretty much, it's pretty much like three, three blocks in one. What is that embassy right there? Where is the British embassy? I think we're gonna we're gonna see the British embassy pretty soon. KD Canadian embassy at night was incredible. Absolutely, Canadian embassy is like it's a it's it is a very new building. It is very very big. It's humongous, as you all saw. But of course, it would be right. I mean, Canada is like the best partner of the United States next door neighbor you know i mean who else would occupy a huge space than canada all right this is the embassy of the united arab emirates education affairs office wow they even have education affairs office this is not just the embassy friends this is the uh this is the education affairs office I'm assuming these guys are investing a lot of money in DC with their embassies, cultural centers, and everything else in between. And this is Embassy of Malawi, Republic of Malawi. Some of these embassies are occupying just an entire st state. It's not even it's not even a house, it's not even a building, it's an estate. Malawi not so big. It's a very it's a very small African country. Oh wait a minute! There's an there's an empty there's an empty property here, an occupied an occupied property here. Look at that. Maybe we should have like a walk right fly embassy. Maybe have a have an office there. You know. You see that? This is up for sale or for lease. That is a nice building. We could have a walk right fly embassy. Why not? Oh, that embassy 
over there that looks nice. It's a modern building. Oh, I think it's Ireland. I think it's Ireland. I believe it's either the residence or the embassy. Nice. Yeah, this is more like a modern building here. This is so cool. Oh, it's not Ireland. I apologize. This is the embassy of... It kind of looks similar. But it's actually the embassy of Côte d'Ivoire. Embassy of the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire. Ambassade de la République de Côte d'Ivoire. You know how I knew it was the Côte d'Ivoire? Because of this statue right here. That is the embassy of the Ivory Coast. The Ivory Coast was named the Ivory Coast because that is where they used to trade ivory. They used to ship ivory from Ivory Coast. Elephant ivory, that is. And you know, Ivory Coast is one of the largest producers of cocoa, which is used for chocolates. Cocoa, or cocoa, for chocolate. Yeah, the flag kind of looks like an Irish flag if it, when it's not flying, but... It is different. Way different. I believe the current president of Ivory Coast is... Uh, Alassane Ouattara. Alassane Ouattara. What embassy is that? Let's see. Oh, Chad. That is the embassy of Chad. Embassy of the Republic of Chad. I mean, I honestly, I honestly am curious as to how much these embassies are paying to occupy these spaces. I know some of them are leased. Some of them are owned. But I believe they're paying a lot of money because the average home price in DC is six hundred and seventy-five thousand. So they are not paying a cheap amount. Look at these nice, these nice homes over here. Hello from Kalamazoo. Grew up in Vienna. Yeah, this kind of looks like a Moroccan, Moorish style architecture right here on the edge. Some type of embassy under construction here. Oh, my friends, my friends, my friends from Mexico. Mexico, are you ready? Are you ready, Mexico? You got Mexico right across the street. A very unique building. A nice architecture. All right, before we go there, I want to show you what's under construction here. So this is the embassy of Zambia. It looks like it is under construction. Capital city, Lusaka. And Zambia is known, is known for iron ore. Zambia is one of the largest producers of iron ore in the world. And they have other minerals too, but they are well known uh, for iron ore. Ooh, let's go to Mexico. Mexico has a very nice, uh, very nice embassy with a unique style, unique colors. And by the way, here I've seen uh, Consulate of Mexico, Embassy of Mexico, Diplomatic Mission of Mexico. There is like so many things from Mexico. I guess they're not occupying a huge building like Canada, so they have to like occupy, you know, a few smaller buildings. All right, let's take a walk. All right, that is Mexico, friends. That is Mexico, Empajada de Mexico. Ooh. There you go, Gigi, that's for you. Very nice building.
Oh, very interesting architecture. Beautiful color. Stands out. Oh, let's see. Mission Permanente de Mexico. Nice. You're very welcome, Gigi. You are welcome. Let's... Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have an apartment building here in this neighborhood? It'd be so cool. You get to talk to people from all over the world. Learn different cultures, different ways of living, different ways of thinking. So many awesome things. Diversity is awesome. Teaches you a lot of things. All right, I believe this is the actual embassy of Korea. Do you guys notice that we have seen at least three Korea, South Korea related buildings within the same block? Within the same... Within the same area? Look at that. So I believe this is actually the embassy of Korea. Yes, it is. This is actually the embassy of Korea. This is embassy of Korea. Nice. Looks like a hotel. Looks like a very, very nice hotel. Ooh, let's see what we have right across the street. It is like a mansion. Can you guys guess what that embassy is? Right there. William is here from Durham, North Carolina. Happy Sunday to you. I love this neighborhood. If I move to DC, I would love to move to this neighborhood. Are you guys able to hear me well because Just give me a second here. Thank you, KD. Voice is good. Okay, great. I thought I connected my earphone, which, which distorts uh, the noise. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. All right. So this is uh, Embassy of Venezuela, Bolivar Bolivariana de Venezuela. I know we have a few viewers from Venezuela. Wow, this is a this is a mansion for Venezuela. Black screen? Oh no. Oh man. No video. All right, I'll be back in a second, okay? I'll be back in a second. Just give me a second here. How about now? Are you able to see me? Nothing. Went to black. Okay, just give me a second here. I'll restart. Just give me a second here. All right, how about now? Is it, is it working? Let me know. nothing jeez all right so i'm gonna actually restart then so just uh, still no screen all right i'll be back in a second